A wonderful way to get Vertex, especially if you can't play Vertex yet, is to push the Diablo at an angle and pull it upwards. This method is so simple that it allows you to play Vertex without being able to accelerate in Vertex. Force the Diablo vertically, do a few suns and catch the Diablo in hand for a spectacular ending to your act. Give the Diablo a wrap on the opposite side and pull the string tight. As a result, the Diablo slowly tilts vertically. Once you reach the level, you need to unwrap the Diablo with a top wrap. This may be unfamiliar, but it's good practice for certain tricks. You can use this technique to secretly switch from right hand to left handed acceleration. Wrap the Diablo and hold the string tight until it turned upside down. Now your partner can use the Diablo the other way around. Give the Diablo a lot of speed and throw it up a little bit. Catch the Diablo in the shells with the tip of the sticks. Force the Diablo vertically by moving your sticks to the vertex positions. Then you throw the Diablo up and catch it dark side. Switch the sticks unnoticed during the turn and start accelerating. Hold the Diablo in your off hand and swing the stick towards it with your other hand. Place the Diablo in the way and wrap it once. You may have to dodge the flying stick a bit. After wrapping, let the string fly around the body and start turning in the other direction. Now you want to change your hold on the Diablo from the shell to the axis. Let the Diablo slide into the string as soon as the string has left your body. Don't worry, exact timing is not that important here. For the easier version, catch the flying stick in front of you and under your arm. Now quickly wrap and start accelerating. For the difficult version, stop your rotation and send the flying stick behind your back instead. After catching, the Diablo is already free and only needs to be wrapped. In this video I unfortunately made a downward sun out of habit and then had to make another top to get rid of it again. However, we can take this opportunity to mention that with bearing Diablos, suns are a great way to get a bit more speed on a slow Diablo. If you're having trouble with one of the entries, try performing a handful of suns to make it easier for you. This entry begins with a wrap and is a very fluent transition from horizontal to vertical play. Move your set with the wrapped Diablo in it around your arm from above. From there, throw the Diablo forward and outward into the string and continue the movement with a small sun below your forearm. Since you had already wrapped the Diablo, you can begin accelerating it immediately. These fancy entries use the spiderweb as the basis for bringing the Diablo vertex. Build a spiderweb and stick your index finger in the two open triangles. Then throw the Diablo on the underside of the bottom string with your arms crossed. Uncross your arms, which creates a wrap on the axle. Now pull the string tight and tilt the Diablo towards you. Spin along and undo the spiderweb. The Diablo is now dark side. So you have to swap sticks or go directly into passing, since this entry leaves you with enough speed to do so. For the carousel, after tilting, bring the sticks back together and on top of each other. 
Your fingers are in two loops and you want to overlap these so that one finger can hold both loops. Now you can spin the Diablo around your finger. To exit the trick, grab the sticks and undo the loop. The Diablo is now free. If your string is a bit older and has a lot of friction, this entry can lead to some nasty knots in the string. Press the Diablo with your thumb on the stick and throw it vertically at a diagonal into the string. Wrap it up quickly and start accelerating. Throw in the Diablo and catch it in front of you. The difficult part of this throw is to give the Diablo enough spin. Once you've caught it, you can quickly make a few sands to stabilise the Diablo. Since it is in the dark side, you still want to swap the sticks in your hand. The neck burner entry is very effective on stage and at the same time gives your Diablo speed very reliably. Press the Diablo against the stick with your thumb and then place the string over behind you. Now throw the Diablo forward into the string and let it travel along the string behind your back. Leave the back position immediately by following the Diablo with your main hand. A downward sun later and the Diablo is free. Wrap it and start accelerating. Wrap the string around the Diablo by throwing the stick underneath the string and around the axis. Now you push the Diablo away from you to have some space for the pulling motion. Pull the Diablo towards you and bring it up at the same time. This entry is particularly helpful if you have limited space, for example while sitting 